Have you ever wondered how people get those beautiful aesthetic Notion pages that you see in all of the tutorials? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own custom Notion cover art. Notion is such a great app for taking notes and just organizing your life in general, and it can be really aesthetically pleasing and minimalist. A big part of how beautiful Notion can be is about the customization. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts and texts, you can set your own custom icon for your page, and of course, you can set a piece of cover art. If you're anything like me and you use Notion all the time and maybe across multiple devices, I know that I use it on my phone, my iPad and my Mac, you'll find that something that you set for a cover art on one device looks pretty awful on your other devices. That's because that cover art section at the top is not a set dimension. It comes up as different sizes depending on what screen you're on. I'm going to show you a really easy and quick way that you can create your own Notion cover art, which is going to look great across all of your different devices. Here's a demonstration of what the same piece of cover art looks like on Mac, on iPad in Landscape and in Portrait, and on iPhone in Landscape and in Portrait. My name is Connor Diblin, I am a final year medical student in London, and I like to make videos about medical school, about Notion, and about studying in general. In order to create these beautiful pieces of cover art for Notion, we're just going to head over into Canva. We're going to jump straight into Canva and we're going to create a design and we're going to create a custom size design. Now, in order to make something that's going to look beautiful on your big laptop screen, on your iPad, on your phone, whether it's horizontal or portrait, we're going to have to create something that's 2000 pixels wide with a height of 533. This might sound a bit random, but trust me, this is the perfect size for your Notion cover art. We're going to be creating just a template today so that you can then copy that template anytime you want to make a new one and you're going to have something perfect for setting up and building your own cover arts. So first things first, I'm just going to set this to a nice neutral background color. There we go, something a bit neutral. And what you're going to do straight away is you're going to want to grab one of these elements. You can go into elements and you can just search square. Just grab that first shape that comes up, this one here. And we're going to use this square to create a nice safe zone so that we know where we can place all of our text, all of our images, so that we know it's going to be nice, central and prominent for any of our different Notion pages on different devices. And to do that, we're going to create this central area. We're going to give it a size of 800 by 341. And drop that directly in the center of our page. So now this central box is our safe zone. Now any images or any text or any anything that you want that you place in that central zone is going to be central and prominent and in focus on any of your devices. So for example here we go. We've got this box in the middle, which has a size of 800 by 341 pixels. The total size of our Notion cover is 2000 by 533 pixels. And anything we want to put in the center is going to be perfectly in focus. I really like using this font, this Abril fat face, and I find that a size 40 text works really well for Notion. One thing you might find a little bit tricky when you're designing these Notion cover art is what colors to go for. I know that choosing colors for design is not necessarily something that comes naturally to me. The thing that I would really recommend you do is to go and check out a website called Coolers. Coolers is a really great website that lets you generate color schemes for any piece of work that you're doing. And all you have to do is head over to here, press the generate button, and it will give you a random palette. Now, every time you press spacebar, it will reset all of the ones that you haven't saved. And we can just keep on going through and being given different palettes for things. And let's say that we come across a color that we really like. So let's say I really like this color here. I can just press the lock button and that's going to lock that color in. So that when I'm cycling through, all of those colors that I've locked in are now saved. And it will generate colors that should go well with those two. The other thing you can do on coolers is to have a look at their trending color palettes. Now, these are the color palettes on there that people have made, which have the most saves. And some of these are really amazing. I really love this one here. For example, I am now gonna save that for another time. 
So for example, this color palette here with these various shades of brown is the one that I've been using for my Notion. But there are a whole ton of different colors. If you have a particular favorite color, you can also head into here and you could say, well, I know that my favorite color is turquoise, if your favorite color was turquoise. And you can find color palettes which have that included. So there we have it. That is how you can create your very own custom Notion templates, super quick and completely for free. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. If there's anything else that you've been wondering how you can do in Notion, anything about customizing it, anything in terms of studying especially, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I can find a way to do it for you and we'll make that into the next video.